Hello, Abhishek sir here again. Today I have come in front of you with a very interesting uh, question. Not one question, there are three questions tied up, tagged up together. This, uh, I found this very fascinating and interesting when I came to learn about it as a kid <coughs> back in maybe class uh, eight or nine. Anyway, I'll straight away come to the question. Why is it so that when a human body, human dead body is thrown into water, it floats at the first time, at the beginning it floats, then it sinks after, a, you know, after some time and then it again floats back. So why, the, why this happens? There are three questions. Why it floats in the first place? Why it then sinks? And why then again floats back? Why is this behavior? You see, murderers, actually, when they dump dead bodies in water, they tie stone to the dead body so that it sinks and never floats back, uh, obviously, to not get caught. Uh, anyway, so the thing is this, let's go into the physics of it. And there's some biology too. A lot of topics which includes both physics and biology tagged up together. So let's come to the explanation. And this is going to be very interesting if you really understand this thing. See, a human body has less density than that of water. So at the beginning, when you throw the dead body into the water, it's going to float. Slowly, in some time, water is going to enter into the lungs and the gut through the trachea and the esophagus, through the foot pipe and the windpipe. Water is going to enter into the lungs and the gut, that is your intestine, and the density is going to become now equal or more of the human body than water and it is going to sink. So at the beginning it floats because the density is less. Because there is air inside the lungs at the beginning, right? So if there is air inside the lungs at the beginning, so it's going to float at the beginning. Then when water, ends, with, with time, when water enters inside the lungs, then it's going to get, the density is going to get equal or even more and it's going to sink. Then the last part, why does it then even float back? If, if the stone is not tied, it's going to float back. The reason is that when a human is alive, the human has got contained a lot of microflora, microorganisms in their gut, which helps them digest. These microorganisms, this population of these microorganisms in the gut actually dominates the microorganisms which can produce gas. Gases like H2S, CO2, methane, the chemolithotropic microorganism, that's a different I'll, I'll, uh, topic of biology. I'll come with a video <clears throat> of that chemolithotropy some other day. Anyway, coming back to the topic. So normal microflora of the gut dominates gas producing microflora of the gut. I mean, when a human is alive, the gas producing microflora in the gut doesn't grow because of the dominance of the normal microflora which helps you to digest but once you are dead once not you i'll not call out you once suppose i am dead or any human is dead so what basically happens is this microorganisms which is going to help you digest they dies out and the microorganism which is uh, which are gonna produce gas which is the capacity of producing gases they develop they grow on the you know <clears throat> organs in the inside, inside the gut taking up the nutrients from the human dead body and they produce gases like CO2, H2S, methane and these gases fill up in the lungs again and in the gut again and hence the torso bloats. So the density now becomes again less and it floats up and that's why it's important to put a tie a stone and put dump the dead body so that it doesn't float up that's how the uh, criminal do that criminals do that and yeah so i hope you found it interesting so three questions one 
why a body human body uh, floats at the beginning because normally there is air in the lungs and hence the density is less it floats at the beginning why it sinks then it sinks because uh, water inside uh, water enters inside in the lungs and the gut through the nostrils and the mouth and the density becomes more and it sinks and after a few days inside the water the gas producing microorganisms grow inside the body and produces gases like co2 h2 and methane and hence the density again becomes low and it floats back and when it floats back you will notice if you have seen you, you can google the pictures and see when it floats back what basically happens is the torso flows back floats back okay the torso part this part starting from here up to your navel that is the torso part the torso part there is the gas so that floats up the hands and the legs the limbs they still droop down you might have noticed you can uh, google the picture and see and the statutory warning is that i'm not teaching any crime in this video i'm just teaching physics tagged with biology have a good sunday thank you